Today we're going to go through how to create the Lego that you see on your screen. Let me rotate it around so you can get a good view of it. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I'm going to start by going to my data panel and just starting a new, uh, new folder or a new project. So I'm going to go up here to New Project. And I'm just going to type in Lego Brick. And I want to get in the habit of doing this because it's going to keep me organized. So I'm going to open that folder now. So Lego Brick, all I'll do is just double click it. And I'm in there. And I'm going to go up now and I'm going to say File. Or just click right here. And I can go to New Design. All right. From here I really don't need the data panel. So I can hit the X or I can just click the Waffle again. We probably want to get in the habit of going to a symbol and say a new component. And what that will allow us to do is copy things a little bit easier later on. So we'll say new component for component name. Instead of component one, I'm just going to call it Lego. And then I'll hit OK. The next thing I want to do is I want to get the units correct. Okay, so remember we talked about on document settings here, if I just expand that, right now my default units are inches, so I'm just going to click right here. As soon as I click on this, this, this little icon will pop up, and I can change that from inches to millimeters. So now I can go to sketch here and say create a sketch, and then I want to click a plane. And I'll start by just taking the rectangle tool and draw on a rectangle. Now you'll notice before I even place it, you can see their numbers there, right? So for this length here, I want to type in 31.8. Then I'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. And I'm going to type in 15.8. Alright, so there's my Lego. I'm going, to, I'm going to zoom in. Everything's going to happen right there. From here, I'm going to go ahead and extrude. There's a few ways to do that. I can hit finish sketch here. I can click finish sketch here. Or what I like to do is just press the E key on my keyboard, which is what I just did. For our extrusion, it's going to be a 9.6 millimeters. All right, so now I'm going to rotate it around. We can kind of see what we've got going here. We've got the basic block here. So now what we'll do is we'll put the top part on. So I'll go back into sketch mode here. And I'm going to choose this to be the top. And I'm just going to draw a circle. I'm going to come over here and just draw a circle. I know the circle, before I just click off, I want to just make it say 5. And now I've got to locate the thing. So I'm going to go up here to dimension. I can also, and this is what I usually do, I just press the D key on my keyboard. And I'm going to say from the center point, so I actually have to click the point, to the edge here is 3.9. It's actually going to be the same here from the top edge to the center is going to be 3.9 as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and extrude that. So I'll press the E key on my keyboard. I'll click that circle there. And for this extrusion, it's going to be 1.7. All right, so let's take a look and see what we've got. All right. Now we could, if we wanted, we could draw all those circles, but I think there's an easier way to do that. Up here it says create, right? We're still in the features menu or the, the 3D menu. Here is rectangular pattern. But let's go to create. You can go down here and you can see there's pattern as well. There's rectangular, circular, and we can even pattern on a path. We're going to choose rectangular. By default for type, it's going to say faces here. So you actually have to click here and say features because that's what we're going to pattern. So I'm going to click the, the piece on top. And it says directions. So I'm going to say direction. I want it to go like this way. And for the millimeters here, for the spacing, I'm going to say 24. And I know that I need four of those. While I'm here, I haven't clicked enter or OK yet. I'm going to go down here to the, to the direction again, right here. And I'm going to pick something on the side. And notice now I've got an arrow this way, so I could, if I wanted to, I could start dragging that. Or I could just come over here and I say the quantity, I need two of those. And these are going to be 8 millimeters apart. Okay, so I'm going to kind of hold this in here. These are kind of the numbers you ought to follow, and I'll click OK. 
So now we've got that top part put together pretty good. We got to go underneath. This is going to be hollowed out. So if we take a look at our original here, if we take a look at our original, that's where we're going next. Okay, so let's go back. Here's the bottom. So now I'm going to go up here to shell, and shell is right here. I'll click that, and I'm just going to click the bottom face here. <clears throat> and for a number, I'm going to say 1.49. And that's taken care of. So now all I've got left is those little circles that go underneath here. I'm going to show you a trick on this. So I'm going to go into sketch mode, and i got to make sure I click on this plane here, because that's where they're actually going to be. I like to take my line tool here, and I hover over this circle, and I can draw a line from center to center. And then I hit escape, and then I go back to line tool again, and do the same thing here. So right there in the center point, that's where those are going to go. So I'm going to take my circle tool now. Go right there to the center, and I'll draw this circle. And this circle in particular needs to be 6.314. All right now, I'm going to offset a circle inside of that. So there's a couple ways to do that. Most people just press the O key on their keyboard, but here is offset right up here as well. I'll click this, and then I'll say I don't want it to go outside of that. I actually need it to be inside that circle. So I'm going to put a negative one. And see how it went inside there? And I press enter. From here, I'm going to go ahead and press the E key. And I'm going to pick all of these circles there, or all of the arc. This extrusion needs to be 8.1 millimeters. All right, so I'm going to click OK. And there it is. Now, instead of drawing those again, I'll just use my pattern tool, right? So I'm going to go up here and say create. Right here is rectangular pattern. Remember, it's already set to features, so we're good. I'll just click that, and I'm going to say, all right, directions. I want you to go like this way. And I can, if I want to, I could drag them out, right? Or, because I know the numbers, I'll just put them in there. For this one, we know that this has to be 16 millimeters. And if we hit the tab key and go over here, we, we know there need to be three. So those are those are set for us. So you can kind of see what our numbers look like. And then we just hit OK. And now we have that Lego. Last thing we want to do here is we actually want to save the Lego. So right now it says untitled. So I'm just going to go up here to the save icon. Hit save. Make sure the folder is correct, right? And I'm just going to type in for the name. I'll type in Lego brick and now it is saved let me expand that data panel there's our Lego brick